What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. With millions of games flooding the market right now, it's tough to make a pick what to play. But we don't need to burn a hole in our wallets to play good games nowadays. That's why in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 free to play games on Steam in 2022. Now relax, this isn't any other list where we just show you 10 free FPS games, which are completely the same, or 10 games that you already know about. There's actually something completely fresh in here for each and every type of gamer. Now if you want to see the top 10 free to play PC games of the year on other platforms not just exclusively on Steam then I did make that video a few days ago and I will link that in the description down below for 10 different other free to play games if you want to take a look at some of those too. Let's begin. Number 10 Bro Falls. Bro Falls is the party game everyone needs to play. It's a great game to crack out when you have a bunch of friends around or when you want something super chill and relaxed to play online with a group of friends. I had quite a lot of fun on this game. It's basically a Fall Guys but completely free and it's full of many different maps, alternative game modes and a ton of chaotic fun throughout. You'll be facing a range of different traps and tough and tricky obstacles during the courses in here so it may take a little bit of practice to get the hang of it but it makes for some great competitions versus your friends and if you're feeling super sinister and are generally the bad guy you could have a bit of fun knocking off other players out of the map. You didn't hear it from me. Number 9 Deduction This game is your typical mystery sim. If if you've played the likes of Gary's Mods TTT or Murder Mode or 2D titles like Town of Salem, you should be familiar with this style of game. This role playing game puts you in the shoes of an office worker and it pits you against your colleagues whom you have to backstab and don't be too surprised if those same co-workers backstab you along the way. Let's just say trust no one and you might get out of here unscathed. There are pretty similar roles as in TTT. There's a normal role, the security and also the imposter and you'll be using a range of gadgets and kit to eliminate the competition. This game is meant for around 6 to 10 players and it's the perfect mayhem driven game that you need to take for a spin. There's a bunch of twists along the way and you'll have to vote out the imposters that you don't trust. Think of it like TTT but with an Among Us spin on it. Along with the different weapons and tasks to do, it's refreshing to see there's a proximity voice chat, the best kind of feature. So enjoy being in the wild west and probably expect some expletives to be held out your way. Number 8 Forgotten the Game This one is a psychological horror game written to showcase the different stages of dementia and its progression through a story driven narrative, putting you in the shoes of a fox that will enter disturbing stages that only get progressively worse, searching for lost memories which will explain the life of the protagonist. You'll have to play close attention here as you play this game as not everything is as it seems. Hold on to each of the memories as there's the potential danger that they will start to fade and become lost once more. Think of this title as a walking simulator on stimulants as you'll be gripped as you progress through this one as you explore its story. Number 7 Arcadius If you want to just relax and take your mind off something or multitask, Arcadius is one of those titles that lets you blow off steam and passively play. This game is a relaxing multiplayer resource gathering sim in which you can explore many multiple islands across its world in order to gather their rich resources alongside other players to compete to be the best at your skill and progress towards obtaining the achievements. The simple cartoon art style has a very cutesy look, and the environment is very vibrant and colourful, setting a super chill and laid back tone to its gameplay. There's a range of skills in the game, such as fishing, mining, woodcutting, crafting, the collection of different rare items, smelting, and much more. You can upgrade different tools with a cost via the island's blacksmith. The two launch islands include the beautiful island of Mount Chibi, which is the more relaxing of the two, as well as the dark and desolate dangerous island Mouth Magma, a volcanic location with lava and rarer resources, but one which takes a long swim to get to. Number 6 Spirit Detective Based upon the traditional Asian oriental culture, this game puts you in the shoes of psychic detectives, who along with four other teammates must use their different skills and the different props within their surroundings to dispel the residual spirits within the different in-game maps. You also have the option to utilise the resentful spirits in combination with your own powerful skill set in order to chase down the psychic detectives and obtain their souls to win the game. Each character has different abilities and skill sets, and they can use a wide range of different techniques of deception to win the game and outsmart the opposition. Number 5 SCP Abhorrent You are a special agent, part of an assessment team who has been tasked to contain and exterminate an SCP instance known as SCP-363, located within an abandoned mining tunnel. As the situation turns critical, 
communication systems break down and your crew is presumed MIA. It's up to you to survive and escape and get out of there alive. You'll utilize a range of equipment, from fluorescent paint to mark a trail of progress, a motion tracking camera to peer through walls, a sidearm, and even a flamethrower to torch the SCP anomalies. This game features fully procedurally generated maps, ensuring every playthrough is unique and completely random every time that you play. But beware, this game is an unforgiving experience as there's no saving allowed here. That means death equals failure. Number 4 Brain Bread 2 this one is a pretty special feature for me as I grew up playing the original Brainbread, a popular Half-Life mod on the Gold Source engine. Brainbread 2 is back, now on the Source engine of Half-Life 2, bringing brutal first-person action, letting you demolish waves of enemies whilst leveling up and growing in power. The whole consensus is the same, it's a zombie-wasting shooter that's super fast-paced. The game features 5 unique game modes, over 20 unique weapons with akimbo mode, extreme gore and gibbing of zombies, over 100 unique unique skill combos, a leveling system, mod friendly customizability, character customization, AI enemies in the forms of soldiers, tanks, bandits and mercenaries as well as zombies, an objective and questing system, an inventory and more. The modes range from the story driven campaign to objective focused game types, arena mode, elimination and standard DM mode. Number 3 Conqueror's Blade this action MMO focuses upon the goal of becoming a warlord who must lay claim to their land and battle other foes with their risen army to siege and conquer their way to victory. If you're in favour of large scale battles and utilising devastating siege weaponry to cause pure destruction to enemy castles and armies in PvP scenarios, this might just be the game for you. You'll be micromanaging your units to secure land and power for yourself and brokering alliances with opposing warlords to gain allies in an attempt to become history's greatest conqueror. You can pick from 11 different warlords to lead your army, each having special abilities and distinctly different playstyles to them. Number 2 Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Everyone remembers their childhood days of collecting football cards, crazy bones or Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Those were the good old days. Well, you can relive those days by playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. It's in the same kind of genre as Blizzard's Hearthstone, a card game which brings Yu-Gi-Oh! into the digital age in a competitive battle scenario in which you can duel other players at the highest level across the world. You can play duels at any level here though, good for entry players aka casuals and also seriously competitive ones. There's a solo mode which guides you through the storylines of the themes of the trading card game and the lore and meaning behind the cards and it features seamless integration into the mobile companion app which you can use alongside the game. Number 1 Lost Ark you probably heard of Lost Ark, it was one of those groundbreaking releases where everyone on your Steam friends was playing it. Lost Ark is a Diablo-esque game, a top-down action-packed RPG-style title that takes you across a vast and vibrant world where looting and plundering and slashing through hordes of monsters and bosses is the game plan. Through classes and advanced classes, you'll hone your fighting style and customise your skills and acquire new gear and weaponry along the way to bring up your power level. This game is a really thrilling title set in a vast open world that's booming with things to do and places to explore, and you'll probably find yourself putting a ton of hours into it. Let me know down below your favourite of these 10 games featured and any other cool free to play games which I missed. If you got some value from this video, like the video and help out the channel and subscribe. It's free and you can see the best new games as well as videos on survival games like Minecraft Mods 2 and to be part of the channel before it hits 100k. Also make sure to check out the last video I did on the top 10 free to play games on other platforms. There's 10 other games not strictly on Steam which you can check out which are different to the ones featured here. Thanks for watching. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.